Hello, full stack web developer, and welcome to Coding for All. Fellow developers, are you ready to dive into the world of full stack web development? Here at Coding for All, we are not just another channel, we are your ultimate destination for mastering full stack web development. And guess what? We do it all with practical applications and utilizing free resources. In our last video, we got to know how we can install Git Bash in Windows for free in less than 6 minutes. And guess what? We are just getting started. So buckle up and get ready to take your skills to the next level. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because you won't want to miss out on the incredible content coming your way. So what you are waiting for? Let's dive into the world of coding together right here on Coding for All. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to teach you something really really cool and really useful as well as for any technology web development or backend development the command line is going to be your friend. So that, what is Bash Shell? Well to understand the Bash Shell we first have to know what a shell is. And this graphic I believe is a good way of tackling that if you think that about your operating system as a C shell then the kernel so the actual crystal, the thing that you are going to use. I'm really sorry about the analogies. You can clearly tell that I'm pretty much greedy or materialistic. It's just because of an upcoming surprise event, but let's back to the topic. If your operating system is a C shell, then the actual crystal is the kernel. And in computing, the kernel refers to the actual program that interfaces with the hardware. So it's the core of your operating system. Now the shell in the computing refers to the user interface for you as a human to be able to interact with the kernel and in turn with the hardware of your computer. And there's two variants. For example, if I just want to show you that how does this look like then I can even show you for the analogies to get it better. For example, this. So over here, operating system is just as the shell. The program is in fact the kernel or the crystal and user interface. So this is what I believe that it will become easy for you to understand and you can visualize it. Other than that, there are two variants to the shell. There are graphical user interference shell. So for example, when you open up Finder, you are using a graphical user interface to access and find your files. But there's also a command line interface, which is what we are going to be talking about and what we are going to be learning about in this module. So this is an alternative way of interfacing with the kernel. Now, it seems intimidating at first, but I want to show you that it's actually super simple. And once you understand it, you are going to see that it's actually really, really useful tool at your disposal. And the bash shell is a CLI or a command line interpreter for Unix system. And you find Unix based system or Unix based system all over the place. So, for example, Linux is like a Unix like system, and a lot of servers will, learn, uh, will run on Unix and even Mac OS X. Or nearly named macOS runs on a Unix Unix like operating system. And this is a completely different family from the Windows side of things, which uses DOS and Windows. A lot of things that you can do with the command line can be done using the graphical user interface. So why use command line at all? At the end of the day, what it all boils down to to is about creator control and in your journey of becoming a better developer you will need to understand and exert more power over your tools that is the computer hardware but on a more day-to-day -day basis you will find that if you are a regular command line user that it's actually easier and faster to do a lot of really common things for example, if I wanted to create a music folder, then it's really simple. I will simply write, make the music, 
and now there will be the music folder let me show you on my desktop screen this is my desktop screen and you don't see any music folder over here so that doesn't mean that i am a boring person but just for this example now if i want to create a new folder with the name of music method one is that i, I just go here like go to new folder and the name is music this is method number one and it takes some time but we are programmers remember you don't want to have something too long so this is where kid bash kicks in here it is now in order to make a music folder i will simply write mkdir music and press enter Tara, there it is so this is that what i wanted to show you that it gives us greater control and it's faster to do and it takes a lot less effort so for me it's a lot about speed and a lot about control but with the command line you have full control and you have a lot of flexibility and later on when we are going to teach you kid and version control we are going to be using the command line really heavily to show you the easiest and probably the most popular way amongst developers at least of using git and version control so i hope i have sold you on the virtues of command line okay so this was a lot in this video so i can guarantee that you surely would have learned and enjoyed this video we got to know the basic of command line and next time we will be learning what are some of the most common commands and some tips and tricks as well but before that like and share the video and subscribe to the channel so we may learn and grow together until then Good luck and my full stack web developer.